Hello. Let me just switch over. Hello. Hey Nate, how are you? I'm running around, I feel like a little bit late today. I, I am on time, but I am uh, <laughs> running around with my head cut off or whatever the phrase is. I wasn't super busy today either, I just was like, oh crap, I need to get some things done. But, I think I'm getting some stuff worked out. Oh, that reminds me, let me, let me check something. So I recently, you know, I'm just going to unplug this and bring it over and I'll check. Okay. I recently got a little tumbler for polishing dice and I want to see how it's doing. Move this off to the side, so it's kind of out of the way. Let's see, let's see how it looks. A while. I was just reading some stuff too. People were saying that it's kind of the experience they have with this particular tumbler that takes a lot of time. You grab a clean thing to move this down with and see how it's doing. Hey, if it works, it'll be great. It means I won't have to spend as much time polishing. I'll just throw things in here. I don't think things are getting shinier. No, I just went and got one. I realized that that wasn't really what I needed, so I just, I just went and got my own. Um, I think it is definitely getting shinier. My concern was that um, it wasn't as clear on the top. That so that's the side that I I had sanded and then threw in. My concern was that you can't necessarily tell. Well, there's still micro scratches, but you might not be able to tell. But it's like. Not quite as clear as the other sides, I feel like. Yeah, it's it's looking pretty good. I'm kind of pleasantly surprised with that, but I think maybe it could go in a little bit longer. But yeah, no, it's definitely it's definitely working. Let's just take a minute. Let's see if I have another example here. Let's see how things are. Yeah, that side. Oof, that side's just really scratched up. I don't know. Hmm. So these are ones that I had um, sanded previously, and I'm I'm realizing that that hasn't worked out so well with the with the sandpaper versus uh, my polishing papers. Lord Osmosis is here. Excellent. Excellent. I'm just talking about how I got a uh, like a little tumbler for hopefully polishing my dice. Um, and I'm just seeing how it's going. It seems to be... Yeah, I've, ha I've had them in here for a while, and they're def it's definitely polishing, but it's been kind of slow going. Um, yeah, because polishing is the part that I am the worst at. Yeah, that side's still all kind of scratchy. Hmm. But some of them, some of them have turned out really good, and I've already taken them upstairs. Um, I put um, Boson's the dice that that uh, Boson ordered. Oh, here we go. Whenever Boson shows up. Hey, Teacup Beta. I'm just showing off. I uh, got a little a little tumbler for hopefully polishing dice. I've had these, yeah. Oh, no, we're not supposed to. Um, for for polishing dice, and I have I'm testing it out, and it seems to it seems to be working pretty okay, but it's it takes a while. Hmm. I need to do that one face by hand, but but like I don't. You can you can see. It's definitely shiny. And it was definitely not shiny when I put it in there. But um, there's a thing with handmade dice, and I'm pretty sure everybody has this problem to a certain extent. Um, at least I've talked to, there's been some people who do handmade dice that have talked about it. 
Um, and that's when you uh, go to polish them, uh, it leaves like little tiny scratches. And so you end up with like these little tiny micro scratches. So it's shiny, but if you kind of get the light off of it, I don't know if I'll be able to show you or not. You can kind of, you can't really see on there. Maybe you can a little bit. You can kind of see the texture there a little bit. It leaves some really, so it's shiny, but it has like little fine scratches in it. Um, it seems like an issue that a lot of, a lot of folks that do handmade dice have. They're very hard to get out. Um, I do think I've gotten better at that because I've, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I've just, I've just changed how I do things a little bit, but. Uh, the tumbler has um, a wood medium in it, so little wood cubes, and then I have uh, polishing, so we'll do some polish in here. And so it vibrates and moves the cubes around the, the dice and uh, works the polish into them and, and finishes them. Um, but, you know, I, some of these are, some of these I had, um, well, I was saying, I think, I don't know if you were here yet or not, I was saying that I sand sanded some of these instead of just using the polishing papers and um, I think that has added a lot more scratches than just using the polishing papers and so some of these are ending up with more scratches than others but I'm some of them I'm just seeing uh, I'm just I'm left I'm leaving these in <laughs> dice vibe check Oh, vibes are atrocious. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm running them in here for a while to see it how well it 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 takes care of some of the scratches and stuff. Here's one of the the well fa sort of failed. I think it's pretty still, but it wasn't what we were going for. Ones from one of the sets that you ordered, uh, Jen, and like it's super clear on the sides and it's shine. It's getting shiny. It's shiny on top. You can kind of see the. I don't know if it'll focus. But it's not as clear as the sides. You can see how glass like the sides are. It's not quite as see through. You can see all those scratches on there. So I'm seeing, I'm seeing if this will take care of that. Um, I think it's most obvious on like one of these. So I, I have a few if it'll focus. Come on. You can do it. You just did it. Ah, let me grab my planner. We'll see if you guys will be able to see. But so on here's what I here's a um, pawn dice that I was doing, and you can see the top kind of looks almost a little bit cloudy, and that is not what I want. I don't want these to look cloudy, I want you to be able to see what's on the inside. So, I'll probably, probably try running this, like, one more night, see how it goes. Oh, actually, this one was looking, that one's looking good. The, the ones that I did, so, I did actually do, I did a couple of tests, sort of, with some of these. So like the ones that I did, so this is one of the dice for Boson, if Boson shows up. Um, and that set, I made sure to not sand them, just to use the polishing papers to get rid of any excess. And then I also went up, um, so the, the polishing papers that I have, there, it's like a whole series of papers, and you go from like the roughest to the smoothest. And some of these, I just did the first one, and this one I did the first two. And there's like six, so it's still cut down my time a lot. Um, yeah. It's definitely... No, it's definitely working. Yeah, that, this was another test that I did. I am... I don't know if you'll be able to see that one of these is clearer than... Yeah, you can see one of these is clearer than the other. Um, I sanded one of these... Or I did one of these to the... Was it just the first paper? Or did I do two? But I did them in, at different levels to see. <laughs> I 
The dice you ordered are slated to arrive Friday. Yay! I was wondering if those were going to show up uh, today or tomorrow or when exactly. Yeah. Yeah, some of these are, these are not super shiny yet. But let me see if I can find some more of, of these green ones because they seem to actually be pretty good. Oops. But not, don't get... And this isn't, I wasn't just going to show you guys this today, I have other stuff to pull out to, to actually do. <laughs> I mean, they're not, they're just in little uh, bottles, Jen, so you could open them and close them back up again if you wanted to look at them. Like, they're not sealed. Yeah, I think it's definitely getting shinier. But. <laughs> Compulsion to eat them if you open them up. That's fair. That's fair. Alright, let me see if I can find more of. Ah, there's another one. Yeah, see, those for crunch. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, I have so much trouble with those little scratches. Oh, this has a, I might need to fix up a spot on here, which is doable. There's an edge here that's got a spot on it. That's good. I could fix that. I was just reading something. I, literally right before this, there was a um, post that came through on a dice making group that I'm in, saying, "Hey, my thing's not going very. This isn't. It doesn't seem to be working all that well." And there was just some discussion about this tumbler versus a different tumbler, and apparently this one has been taking a lot. <laughs> it's over for them. I hope I do hope they like the dice. I do hope they like the dice. Actually, this one might be good to go. I think that one's good to go too. Mm. <laughs> well, maybe hold off until you see the dice. But thank you. <laughs> I um I do think that I have gotten better at making molds and that will hopefully I'm gonna throw that one back in. Throw this back over there. I don't actually use this one. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna pull those out. Uh, anyways, let me throw this back over there. I'm uh uh what was I just saying? I don't remember what I was just saying, guys. I don't remember what I was saying. Just saying, let me throw this back over there. Alright, let me just put this away. Improvement on molds. Yes, thank you for the reminder. Yes, I think I've gotten better at making molds, and that will limit how much I would will need to even remove. Um, I did try out. So okay, let me let me see if I can show you something with the dice that I make. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. Uh, I had kind of a failed experiment that I did last night, but let me show you. So when I pull things out of the mold, it has um, some, because of the type of mold I have with the, the lids, you have kind of this resin that ends up around uh, the very top. Um, this is an extreme case. Obviously this one did not work out. Usually I don't have as much. But um, with some of my newer molds, um, I don't 
have a good example. But um, some of my newer molds, it almost gets rid. It, it it makes it almost negligible how much is there, and so I don't even have to do much to get rid of that extra. Um, yeah, see this, there's way too much. This, it shouldn't be like that. It should be more like, uh, I don't know, what's a good example here? Um, this one actually had quite a bit too. This was a failed experiment, so. I don't know, see if I can show you that. Let's see, show you that little ridge right there. See that little tiny ridge between the top and the six there? This isn't even from one of the nicer molds, but it there's a lot less there, and I'll only have to just get rid of that little tiny edge. Um, I did try out something to try and make that smaller too, uh, and it did not work out. Uh, I think I'll probably just go back to the way I was doing things before because you can see what became of. That experiment. Some of them worked, like the D20 here worked and stuff, but not that one so much. Or this one or this one. But I'll just throw these in the field experiment box. Also, let's see. Uh, dirty port. I was so excited about the dirty port. It turned out looking so cool. Um, here, I can pull up a picture. Just a second here. And So big. Okay. So here's the here was the dirty pour from last time, the rainbow one. Um yes, this was my favorite. And then also the uh red, purple, and gold. Let me pull those up as well. And da -da -da -da. Here's the, uh, one of the other sets that we made. These two are my favorites, I think. Um, yes, here's the, here's the, the red and purple ones that we made last time with all the colors and everything suggested by you guys. Um, yeah, that one actually turned out pretty cool. Um, it has, I don't have any of them down here. They're upstairs. Um, red purple set gave you an idea for some NPCs. <laughs> Hey, you guys are the ones that came up with the uh, the colors and everything, so uh, that that one's on you. It turned out really cool. Um. Oh, and thanks. The I was uh, attempting to make a second set of fire dice when I was doing that test earlier. I um. This leads me to a different point I was going to bring up. Let me let me. I'm gonna hide these. Um. I was rethinking how I want to sell things to a certain extent because I was originally thinking that I would I was originally thinking that I would uh, try to put a new thing in the shop every Friday but I think I'm gonna try and move to a model where I make a whole bunch of stuff and then list them all at like the beginning of each month and there'll just be one or two sets available of each kind of dice uh, and then if there's a certain one that's super, that a lot of people are interested in, I can make more. But, um, so I was thinking of putting, like, the, putting, like, the fire dice and the red and purple set and that sort of stuff up at the beginning of next month to sell. So I'm going to start moving towards that with, um, having just kind of a drop release date for a whole bunch of individual sets. But... That should be that should be fun because it'll be fun for me to make a whole bunch of, of different things, and then because I'm not always the best judge of what everyone's favorite's gonna be, because like the fire dice, I was just like, oh, those turned out okay. People seem to really like them. Um, 
And then like the red and purple set, I'm like, these are cool, but uh, I like the, the rainbow ones better. And then everyone's like, the red and purple. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> so uh, I think I'm gonna move to that where I just make oops, a whole bunch of individual sets and then see what people like and go from there to a certain extent. Let me set these over here. And that's gonna be more fun for me anyways, cause it's, the, the fun part is making all the, trying out new things, making all sorts of different kinds of dice. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do today, is I'm just gonna make more individual sets of dice. Um, I have one or maybe two planned out for what I wanna do. Um, I'll show you the first one here. Uh, these were some of the first dice I made. And they're all sorts of different blue, dark blues, a little bit of light blue. Um, these are with an old, cheap uh, mold. Yeah, that was part of the reason I decided to switch over is because I was like, this seems to be what everybody else is doing and it seems to be working out pretty well for them. And it'll give me a chance to kind of build up some hype for a lot of different things. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start uh, broadcasting that on social media, hopefully. <laughs> uh, I made these originally for my mom because she also loves the color blue. Good dark blue. But I'm going to try and recreate these with my new molds that are nicer. Uh, and I do actually have a recipe written down for them. So, hey! <laughs> I don't remember stuff. I really should take more notes, because um, I have a few things written down. Uh, galaxy dice, amethyst dice, li lily pad dice, these are deep sea dice, uh, my shoreline dice, matte black dice, the grand Pris prismatic spring dice. I should really write down... <laughs> you gotta make your character sheet for tomorrow. <laughs> But, uh, and, I and this also has, like, ideas for dice in the front, but. Uh, I'm going for deep sea dice today, because I really like how these look. Um, I'll probably have a few just extra d20s, too, because, like, obviously this set didn't turn out, so I'll just have the d20 probably listed as well. I went, I was sorting through all of the dice, I have a whole bunch of dice sets made, guys, that are just like individual sets that I made at one point, that I'm like, cool, maybe I'll do something with one of these ideas later. Uh, so I'm like, well, I should just polish all of these up and do them. Um, deep sea dice, these probably won't be available, these will probably go to my mom, but that's okay. I want the D20 at the bottom for this one. Oh, you can see what happened to my mold when we did the uh, dirty pour, not the dirty pour, the um, uh, 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 Petri dish with all the purple. That's what my, it dyed my mold, which is fine. It shouldn't affect anything, but my mold's just a little purple now. So that's gonna be these ones. I have my colors for this. Matte blue, this blue, this blue, and some blue glitter. You gotta have your character sheet. You gotta have the character sheet. Okay, um, I was also thinking I made these dice a while back where they have like, I don't see if it'll show up. It's gonna show up. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can do both, probably. That's fair. <sighs> Doesn't want to focus. Let me grab my planner. Um, I made these a while back that have like plants in them. Um, <laughs> I 
I made these a while back that have plants in them. Um, and I have all of the dice except for a d20. Oops, I dropped my pencil. And so I was thinking I would just make a d20 to match these ones so that I could have a full set of those to hopefully sell as well. And then, what were my other ideas? I was thinking of doing <laughs> cameras over party. 2K20, oh gosh. Uh, I was watching a thing the other night and they literally made that their uh, hashtag to try and get it trending just because they thought it was funny. Um, Wednesday. Uh, oh, I was thinking of doing another dirty pour, maybe do another rainbow one, because I'm keeping uh, those other ones for myself, because I like those. They're, they're, they're dibs, dibs, dibs. Um, and then there's a, uh, a, I could do a third set, so, <laughs> yep. I, I get, I mean, I get to call dibs, so, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call dibs. Uh, so I was thinking of making another set of those, because I do really like how those looked. And then I have a third set of dice here, which um, either we could do something with like moss and like a, maybe kind of a sparkly pink color. I feel like that'd be pretty with like a nice green moss and kind of sparkly pink color. Or um, it's a, yeah, or you guys can pick some stuff. If you guys have some things you want to see. <laughs> Only I may taste the rainbow. Um, yeah, so, that's right there. um, yeah, uh, either do something with, like, moss, or if you guys have, uh, an idea for something you'd like to see in dice, any colors, any techniques, anything I've done before that you would like to see how it's done, or that you just think would be fun to modify or something like that, or just... I want pink glitter, something like that. It's, it's, uh, I'm open to ideas. I mean, I have some fun pigments that we could try out too. So this is, that's a heat sensitive one. Okay, a bright pink and a gold. I got these as freebies with my glow in the dark ones. Um, this one is really fun, just saying. Sparkly moss. <laughs> Pink lemonade dice. Pink, yellow, orange. Gold flake. Chamba juices dice. Okay, so you see that white? See that white? Guys, I just like photochromatic pigments so much. They're just so much fun. I was thinking some of this like kind of gr like bright green moss and then like a uh, like a kind of a, a pink sparkly yeah exactly I, okay that, this one just makes me so happy I like photochromatic pigments but I was thinking some of that kind of moss with a good green color and then maybe some like kind of uh, uh, light mostly translucent uh, pink with it, because I feel like the, the pink and the green would look really pretty. Um, yeah, definitely making those. I'm going to try and make that. <laughs> Takes notes for, notes for personal dye submission. On the uh, photochromatic pigments, I just have the one at the moment, but I would to I'd be down for getting more, because they're fun. Um, oh, yeah, I just, I just buried all the pink. Okay, so let, let's see, let's see. Pink lemonade dice, pink, yellow, orange. Those would be pretty colors together. Um, gold flake, uh, chamba juices dice, okay. You'd, you'd be interested in the sparkly moss. Moss and gold flake. Mm -hmm. All right, let me, what was? Well, let's hold off on the dirty pour then. I'll do that on my own time. Let's do uh, pink, yellow, and orange. And then let's do the moss. And I think, 
I just like gold flake. I think it's neat. Um, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, I'm gonna do the moss, and then I want to do. The, let me grab my. Let me grab my colors. Let's see what I got. Ah, there's tape stuck to my colors. So I was thinking kind of this rose color with the moss. These are kind of the colors I was thinking together, kind of that pink and that green. And then I'd do this maybe even lighter almost, and then add a little bit of maybe kind of the, the this sparkle, which is like a, uh, this one, which is kind of a bigger sparkle. Oh, just like my my only problem with having all my stuff on here is that they do not move around well. Let me see if I can show this to you. It's kind of a bigger sparkle. I wouldn't use this much, so it would just be a little bit, it would still be translucent, but a little, just a little hint of, of sparkle with kind of the rose color there. I think I'm gonna do that. Pull out all the pieces that I need for that. That that and that and then yeah I think I'll be good I'll probably do a little bit of clear with the moss and then kind of have it fade into the pink I don't know that song I'll have to look up that song okay and then pink yellow and orange so I was talking bef last time about doing a set of dice where they're all like, I was gonna do like red and yellow and blue, but where they're all translucent and roughly the same, um, oh, what's it called? When they have this, about the same amount of, of pigment in them, value, value? It's, I can't think of the right word, uh, it might be value. Um, uh, but why don't we do that with the pink and the orange and the yellow? We just got to figure out which pink we want. And I'm thinking we'll do translucent pink. Um, and we've got some choices for yellow too. We really only got the one choice for the translucent orange, so I'll show you that one first. Oh, actually, I have a couple of choices. We could do kind of a lighter translucent orange, or kind of a darker translucent orange. Saturation. That's a good. That's a good word for it. Yeah. <laughs> While I make funny dice, you're gonna draw funny D and D characters for tomorrow. Yeah. I was. I was like stained glass dice would be cool if I do like a nice deep red and a nice deep blue and then a nice um, yellow. And I just kind of pipe it, like them into the mold. I've seen people do similar things. Put them into the molds so that they're kind of they're each individual thing, but then they blend together in the middle and make kind of pretty rainbows and stuff. But I feel like they're really saturated would be pretty for that and be reminiscent of stained glass. Um, but I do like the idea of pink lemonade dice of doing um, a pink, an orange, and a yellow. Um, so. But do I want to do, do we want to do a more, like a lighter kind of? Oh, come on. They just all bunch up. I need to figure out a better way to have all of my little test pieces. Hey, look, this one's wasabi powder. Okay. Um, all right, because there's a few options for yellow as well. There's a more greenish yellow. Yeah, there's kind of a spectrum of yellows. Oh, they don't... Actually, that's fairly accurate. This one's a little bit more orange than it looks like. Um, but yeah, this one's, this one's kind of a light greenish yellow. This one's a... yeah. Lemon yellow, sunshine yellow. I don't know what that one says, but it's, a, it's it, this is like the most kind of true yellow. And this one's kind of an orangish yellow. So should we go, do we want to go like kind of bright summery colors, like with the sunshine yellow and the, maybe this orange and um, more of a 
hot pink or something? Um, or do we want to go more... these colors Would that be good I feel like that might be good maybe the, maybe a different yellow here maybe the which yellow did I just have so no I had I had which yellow did I have did I have sunshine yellow Yeah, I had sunshine yellow. Okay, so we're going to do sunshine yellow, orange, and pink. Sunshine yellow? Oh, that's because I'm looking at the wrong things. No wonder I can't find it. I'm looking at the wrong papers. Sun bright yellow. Okay. Sun bright yellow, orange, pink. Cool. We'll do those. get things set up. Should we do them in layers or kind of uh, mix matched a little bit? I almost think layers. I almost think do like the yellow and then the orange and then the pink because then it might ombre a little bit and I feel like that'd be pretty. Okay, that, this. Yeah, I'm thinking layers. So let's do that. Let's do that. We're, we're in agreement so it works out. my molds. I do have more molds sitting over here that I need to make lids for. Alright. Yeah. Put those on the bottom. Okay. Um, do that. <laughs> Side note, could you believe my pro wrestler barbarian was going to have clothes and I forgot to give her scars? Tragedy. <laughs> Barbarians with clothes? Are they allowed to do that? I fired the horse catcher. Okay. I feel a little scatterbrained today. I don't know. I I woke up this morning with like a little bit of a headache and just feeling kind of uh I think it's because it's raining and so all the pressure changes just get to me, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> she hasn't realized her true power yet. Someday she will learn that she doesn't need to wear clothes. Twigs and stuff out of here. I don't want that. Get out of there. Get out of here. Yeah, cause there's a couple of like darker spots here. And I want, I think, kind of, kind of pieces like this where it's almost bigger um, stalks of moss. I don't think it's gonna focus. I don't think it needs to be all the way through the dice. I'm thinking almost... Eh, do you want to have it all the way through the dice? Probably. Okay, this one's probably... These, these and, and this one's probably going to take the most setup. I'm just going to add, add some more there. 
I was thinking of doing my, uh, moss and gears at one point too. Instead of moss and pink. Could do that, but. There's the back one. <laughs> it's, he it's National Headache Day. <laughs> yeah, I tend I tend to get them when it when it's like feels like it's about to rain and that sort of stuff when there's just a whole bunch of pressure changes. So I think I know why I had a headache, but sorry to hear that you guys also had headaches. Let me grab this piece out and put this one in instead. Just kind of fluff it up in there. There we go. Yeah, I don't think it needs to fill that necessarily. A little tiny piece for the D4. The D4 is always fun to put things in because not really a lot of space in a D4. How full do I want to fill this? Yeah, there we go. I'll just put, put a few smaller pieces in the D4. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing about headaches is it's like, it's not usually a ton you can do. I can luckily usually sleep headaches off, but, well, migraines at least I can sleep migraines off. Which I realize I am luckier than some, probably in that regard, but. Hmm. So I'm, sure, I'm trying to get all the like slightly darker bits. Get the ports to hope you guys can see it a little better. Ah. Okay. A piece of resin. Have you guys been up to anything fun in the uh, past couple of days? Sounds like uh, you have a D&D game coming up, which sounds like fun. Well, at least you're making character sheets. in there. Ish. Come on, get off of there. Hmm. Let's see, you play a pl Pro wrestler Furble Bar um, Oh Barbarian tomorrow and I am just sending her right now. Oh, okay, cool. That is a funny but fitting uh backstory for a barbarian. I think I mentioned before or previously that uh my brother has a whole idea for a gentleman barbarian. He was raised in a whole clan of barbarians, and, uh... <laughs> Let's see... I'm trying to paint a character. I haven't done justice in ages in painting and is pain, actually. Are you, like, um, physically painting it, or are you doing, like, uh, uh, on the computer painting it? Her party's literally her two hype men, a bard and a cleric. That's fun. That's fun. I, I yeah. Stuff like that's fun. Mm. 
Digital painting. Oh, okay, cool. What was I? What was I talking to about? Oh, I was talking to a friend um, about um, digital art and how I think it's really cool when people can do digital art. Cause I don't know if that's something I could do or not. <laughs> You've forgotten how to shave pants. That's uh that's one of the things uh is uh I think it'd be really cool to have a drawing tablet, but I don't know how much I would end up actually using it. So I'm like, eh, I don't think I wanna invest in one if I'm not gonna use it. Cause I enjoy I enjoy painting and stuff, but I mean I enjoy doing stuff uh phys like physically with my hands. So it's all good it's all well and good. It's all well and good. Um, maybe, maybe someday I'll try to, I'll see about branching out into digital painting to go along with my physical painting. Because I can physically paint. I think I've shown you guys, at least it's in, it's in the pre-stream role at the very least, a couple of, of still lifes I did fairly recently. those. Got all that. Let's set this one up. Let's see, what did I have in these? So I have a little bit of dirt, quote unquote. A little bit of that moss. Okay. A little of that moss, a little bit of this moss. And then some leaves and plants. Let me grab my leaves and plants. Um, I think you guys have seen my leaves and plants box, but I'll, I'm going to pull it out once again. Just put some stuff away. I'll dump that in here, actually. Set these off to the side for a moment. And one wants to be plug in. Those are the ones I always think of, to be fair. Alright. Pretty dried plants and bugs and stuff box. Alright. So let's see, what do we what have we got in here? We've got let's go over to my random leaves and bits. Kind of draw over here. Oh, those would be good. I don't know why they're in here. I think the plants over where are those? These are my leaves. And some larger things. No, nope, not my leaves. that I was using in these. My little, uh... Did I use them all? Let's see. Oh, Huey Huion is... Oh, yeah, I've heard of them. Uh... Huey Let's see. Huey on H610... Uh, H610 Bro. Yeah, Hue on this brand in general. Their pads last a long time and they're good quality and they're way more affordable than Wacom. Wacom? Wacom? <laughs> you, I, I, you know, I'm not 
uh, I'm not completely convinced that you two aren't the same person, but, you know. <laughs> okay, cool, here you go. Maybe I'll have to look into that at some point, because I feel like I I'm probably want a drawing tablet at some point, but I don't need one right this second. Where are the plants that I put in these? Where did they go? I know they got them from this box. Where did they go? I wonder if I just used them all. Um, here. <laughs> you ate them. Hello! Hey, hey, Bosun. Um, oh here, you missed earlier when I was showing off, uh, some of your dice. Because I was, t I'm testing out a, a new, uh, tumbler to polish dice. And I feel like yours are, here's the, here's the side that was, that was polished. It seems to be working pretty well. But, um, yeah. So, they're coming along. Um, I have a couple more that I'm going to run a little bit longer. And then I need to, um, ink these. There's a spot on the D6 that I need to touch up because it has like a, has a little tiny, like, here I can show you. There's like a little tiny, let's see if it'll, ooh, you can see on the edge there, there's a little tiny chip, but I can fix that. So I'm going to do that before I send them off to you. But yes, it seems to be working pretty well, it just takes a long time for those. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. H950P. Okay, so it's like 60 bucks. I've got about a foot of workspace and really great pen pressure and came with loads of extra nibs to the pen. You know, that's actually less expensive than I was thinking that they were. Yeah. That's what, yeah, what Nate just said. Uh, I, that's uh, that's uh, less expensive than I would have thought a drawing tablet was, to be quite honest. Um, which is not helping me in my case of I don't need one. And, guys, I think I'm blind. I don't know where the plants are that I used in this, in the past, unless I used them all, which I don't think I did. I'm gonna move these again. Move these out of the, this drawer. But this is all, this is my leaves section. Yeah, there's no, there's no flowers in here. I just have these little, uh, I might have used them. I might have just used them. And that's, okie dokie. You don't all have to have you don't know. Well, except it's gonna be the D20. Mm. So yes, it does need flowers, but maybe I'll do a bigger flower. Maybe I'll do a bigger flower since it's the... Oh, right, all right, Bosun ate them. Okay, cool. Here we go. Sounds like the way to go. Okay, so I'll blame, I'll blame uh, Bosun for, for eating the... Uh, plants that I need, and I'll just pick a different one. Um, hmm, what kind of flower should I do? I could do, do one of these, do one of these in the D20. Let's see if it, it doesn't want to focus. Okay, I'm gonna grab my, I'm gonna grab my, hopefully they weren't poisonous, but you know, as long as it tastes good. Grab my salad. <laughs> Anything is salad you want it to be. So maybe, maybe, well, those are really washed out now because the bright pink background could do one of these flowers um, in the D20. Or, I don't want to add too much color. Um, uh, the other ones have kind of some yellow in them, so I could do like, like a set of these flowers. To be fair, these are, I, I just want to point out, I didn't necessarily dry these the best because I literally just hung them upside down to dry and they're all stuff from like my yard. <laughs> Including the little tiny roses that I have. Oh, there we go. I could do like this section, this, this selection. Um, yeah, I don't want to add too much color. No, uh, I could do a dandelion. I could do a dandelion, that might be kind of cute. Well, a dandelion might be cute, actually. That's an option. Um, uh, it 
might save this just because it has a it's a little bit bigger. Although I could I could use I could use one of these um, on the end there, the kind of like this piece right here. That could be an option. The poffy ones. You mean uh, these ones? I think maybe one of these might be good. Or two. Do like a, a little a little section here in the D20. I just wanted to match the rest so that I can have a full set here. And these ones do kind of match color-wise. Because these ones have kind of like little yellow flower in there, you can kind of see. So maybe I'll maybe I'll do one of these and it'll it'll kind of match with the, the colors and everything. Let me just put everything these away so I don't spill them all over the place that's why they're in a container with a lid that closes uh, because quite literally I had a cat jump up into the open container that I had of all of my dried plants before and spill them all over the ground so now those are up on a shelf and in a container that closes completely all right let's put together this d20 So to match these other ones, it has a little bit of dirt, quote unquote, and I say quote unquote because this is actually coffee grounds, but it, it works as dirt. That's what I put in all of my little uh, mushroom necklaces at the, the very tip there. It's just dirt. Uh, it's uh, coffee grounds. So I'm going to add a little bit of that to the bottom here. on the sides. I just want it on the bottom. And the other ones don't have a ton, so I'm just going to try and match that. I'm not going to... If I did these again, I'd probably add a little bit more, but again, I want this to match. And they have a little, a little bit of moss. I believe the same moss that I use for everything. I need to get more of this. Um, and I'll use that to help Prop up other things that oops. Prop up other things that I put in there. Like some kind of this is a different kind of moss, but I'm using it as a fake grass. I have a few just a few strands of this in, in the other ones. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. Kind of try and Lean it up against the sides there. Let's see if I can show you. Mm, might be too dark. There's a, there's, a, there's a strand leaning up against the side there. Hard to see. Spanish? S oh, Spanish moss? Uno moss? I, uh... I was going to attempt to speak in Spanish there, but I don't really know Spanish. I know a little bit more French. Parce que je... Je... Well, I don't know how to say study. I know how to say school. Je... Écris et parle le français en... Uh, en... En... L'école. I'm sure the... Oh, I had the tenses wrong there. Yeah, I did not take a ton of foreign language. You know, Spanish adjacent. Oops. Ah. That's fair. We have um, a large Hispanic population uh, where I live. And so there is qu quite a bit of like things in Spanish. And I can kind of read and understand it a little bit mostly because I took uh, French in high school and they're both romantic languages so there is actually quite a bit of overlap but 
Uh, got some little tiny leaves. Oops. Nope, I want that to go down. No, not up. Down. Wait, I think we're good. Did I get it? Nope. leaves in here as well. Alright, I think that's I think that's close enough to the other ones that it'll it'll match. You don't speak? Je ne comprends pas la mon. Uh, I think, but Nate did, um, did German. So you guys can, can talk only Latin. Oh, right, right, we were talking about that, uh, last time. And how it would be cool to, I, I wish Latin was an option. I probably would have taken that, but, because that'd be cool. <laughs> Your German is so bad. Hey, so is my French, so, you know. Pardon my French. Hey. Okay. That's set up. That's set up. Uh, let me set that over there so that I don't actually add pink to that one on accident. Okay, this one, we're going to need a few different mix of cups. Oh, I might have your old Latin book. I don't know. I'd have to go look in the uh, bookcase and see if I have it. Oh, hey. I think I just found the uh, containers that I used. Are these containers I used for this in the past? Oh, no. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Weird. Oh, this is the one for I could learn Latin. It's true. That would require, uh, do a lot of that dark blue, apparently. Look how, look how, let's see if you can see, see how thick that is? That's just all left over from, uh, wow. It's because I've used this, this cup so much. All right. Use these cups for that. Use those cups for that. Oh, actually, I don't need. I don't need that big of. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't need that big of cups. I'll get some smaller ones. Because a full set of dice is just one of these. <laughs> so I, I might as well just break this up. Okay, here's this one. Uh, let's see. Oh, you need to send me pictures for, uh, Dice Boson? Or, uh, which, uh, which pictures? <laughs> Not to dunk on the only other language. Oh, okay. Put that down. one I think it's actually actually that so all right there's those cool I'm gonna find three for this <laughs> I I'm I'm absolutely open to seeing pictures of your puppy I always eat a puppy I just always want to uh, double check, like, what am I being sent pictures of? 
Are, there, are these links I should not click on? There's one for orange. Okay. And then that one. That's a good pink. Oh, actually, that one I will grab a larger container for because all of it's going to be pink. I mean, I got kitties, but I'm, oh, I'm always open to seeing the puppies too. Use that one for that. All right. Let me see what I have here. What do I have with my hair on my elbow? Oh, look at the puppy! That's such a cute puppy. Oh. I could, I could totally find uh, pictures of my cats, but all right, that's pretty much all I have on my phone is pictures of my cats. Okay, so I'm only going to do about 10 milliliters of this, but I want this one to actually have a little bit extra because this one's likes to clump and sink and I want that to happen for these dice because it makes a really cool kind of speckled look on the bottom see that corner there and I really like that for for a kind of deep sea set of dice I like that kind of dark speckled look so I actually want that to happen so I'm gonna add a he's a whiny boy um, so I'm gonna add a little bit extra of the this dark blue so I want it to be oversaturated so that it sinks. Really doesn't take a lot of, of pigment. Um, let's just be super focused in here. Wait. Okay, so I'll probably do about I'll probably do about 10, 10, 10, and then 5. Yeah. So I'll do about 10 milliliters of this one as well. Ooh, that's probably more than I need. Eh, that's okay. And these are actually uh, soap pigments that I have commandeered because they're just mica powders. Well, actually this one, that one's mica powder. This one is a, just a, a ultramarine blue pigment, but um, it's nice because they're uh, powdered pigments so I can use them in resin. <laughs> a little bit of this one because there's it's not a huge deal because this is going to be opaque and it's the same color blue but let's get those out of there so what pets does everybody have sounds like Bosun and Jen both have puppies I've got four kitties got a lot of kitties Oh, that's plenty. It doesn't take a lot of that. I don't want to oversaturate that too much. And then this one. Yeah. yeah. 30, 30, 30, 5. Oh, 10, 10, 10, 5. Oh, uh, where did I just set? To? Okay. Let's just set these in here so that I don't lose them. One, one might be babe. One whiny, that's actually hard to say. One white, one whiny baby in beagle form. I've always liked beagles. I always think they're so cute. I've always thought they're so cute. I don't know why, but just specifically beagles. Oh, hey, I just remembered. 
remember that I made a tray that matches these too. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of what we're making. We're gonna we're gonna make this, but in uh, but in dice, including those kind of dark speckles because I like them. Maybe with a slightly less glitter. Let's see, you have a salamander who's staying with your aunt while you're in the dorms. Yeah. <laughs> a cat who's with your mom in Japan right now. That's cool. It's sad that you don't get to be with either of the pets, but it's cool that you have a salamander and a cat. I'm trying to remember how much glitter I added last time. I'm just... Uh, ah! Ah! Yeah, go ahead and please send a, send a link to a photo of your, your weird dog, quote-unquote. Um, I'm okay. Oh, that reminds me. I was going to uh, see if any of you guys... Um, would be interested in being a mod for the channel. Which really just makes it so that you can uh, block people for me and that sort of stuff while I have my hands filled with resin. Oh, look at the salamander. I like your weird dog. It's a very cute weird dog. He's called Norman and he has no brain cells. I don't know why, but that just seems like a great name for for a, sal a lizard. Salamander named Norman. Okay, I might end up adding more glitter. I don't know. We'll see how it looks once I add the resin. So sparkly. But yes, we're making this making this in dice form. We've got these set up. Let's get this one ready to go. This one works. So we're probably going to do about 20, 20 or so milliliters because I was thinking. Okay, on the moss ones, I was thinking of doing like a little tiny bit of clear with the moss in the bottom and then having it kind of ombre into like a light pink. But I could do like a blue almost or something too. Like a really, really light blue. Would that be better? I don't want a lot of this glitter because I want it to be... I'm just adding a little tiny bit of glitter. Because I don't want it to be... turn it uh, opaque. Put this over here. If we need to add more, we, we can. Okay, so it's that pink. And then these I will add. Ooh, wait, for the, for the lemonade one, should I do some glitter too? Ooh. Hey Jen, it was it was you that was talking about the uh, lemonade uh, dice, right? Should I add a little bit of glitter to those? <laughs> Baby dog. Should I add a little bit of glitter to that, or should I just leave them all clear? Yeah, always more glitter. That's kind of what I was thinking. Hmm. Do we just want to do kind of, just make them a little sparkly, or should we add some, like, bigger glitter? Like, so I got, like, this kind of glitter. Uh, this will try to sink, but we can always uh, add it well, when it's a little thicker. Um, what else do I got? I mean, I have, I have... Mica powders. Wait, why don't I just grab my... I don't have my, all my glitters here, but I have my fine shimmer. That's kind of what I was thinking. And kind of the same fine shimmer for all of it. Because that's that's what I have here that I think would be kind of pretty. Why don't we just do that? I still, I think I still want them to be... I think I still want them to be clear. Like, mostly, mostly translucent. But then with a little bit of shimmer. So we're going to add a little bit of this to these as well. Really not much at all. Okay. 
really not much at all. Just a little bit of, of kind of shine. All right, put that over there. We've got felon stern six for these. I'll put these in the correct order so that I don't get confused, because that will happen. All right. And then this one is just going to be clear. So we're just going to make uh, 100 milliliters of, uh, of uh, resin. Oh, let me grab pipettes. Because I will need those for at least one of these. And this one right here, I need... Thanks for that. And then this one, I think I'll probably want pipettes as well. I'm just going to grab a couple more. That's not going to work. I'm just cutting off the very tip of that so that it's open a little bit more. Makes it a little bit easier for me. everything. I think we're ready to go. I, um, I put these over here. Sorry. You know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Let's go. I was watching, uh, someone else make dice on Twitch earlier today and their stream was like less than an hour long. And I'm like, gosh, you're, you must be so organized. <laughs> Because it takes me like an hour just to get everything set up. I'm running around and grabbing all the different pieces. Alright. That's what's going on. Alright. Okay, let's add this. Let's see. Oh, I was gonna, that was something I was gonna ask you guys. So, obviously I have a, like a, a goal going on up here for, for followers. Um, once I reach that number, or once I get really close to that number, I was thinking it might be fun to do something, something for a stream. Either like a really long stream, uh, I, yeah, like do, do a long stream of some sort, or uh, some sort of, of stream where I do something a little bit different than, than normal. Um, maybe do a giveaway. Uh, would any, do you, do you guys have any ideas, or does any of that sound like fun to you guys? If I did, a, if I did a, like a long, long form stream, I mean I've done a five hour stream before, just making polymer clay stuff. So I think I could probably do at least five hours, if not six or eight. Um, I'd probably do, try and do multiple urchin crafts. Do some like resin, do some polymer clay, do some painting. Uh, I have to think of what else. I have a few other projects I want to work on. I have some embroidery I want to work on, but I don't know how exciting that would be to hang out and while I work on. Um, You all would eat long form screens due to your health schedule issued by God. Do you mean to say that uh, you would eat them up and like listen to them while you're working, or are you saying that you wouldn't be able to make any sort of long form stream? Uh, 
And I'd probably start it a little bit earlier in the day and then go through this time. So like... Depen depending on how long I decided to go. I think it was just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Guys, I am flying by the seat of my pants, if you couldn't tell. I think everybody is to a certain extent. Just through life. There's three days a week, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. One day's off. Oh, you totally catch it. Well, I probably could do it a different... I probably could do it a day that's not... I'd probably do it a day that was not Wednesday or Saturday, maybe. I might do it a different day of the week. Um, it depends, yeah. It really depends. I'd, I'll probably put up a, a poll or something. See what days would work for people if I did that. But... Yeah. I'm also just curious if, if something like that is something that would interest you guys. Because if that's not something that folks are even interested in, then there's not really a point in making it a goal. Or a uh, reward, I suppose. Maybe a giveaway would be a fun idea. Giveaway, uh, you could even make something on stream and then have it be the giveaway. Alright, we need 100 millimeters. Oh, hey, before I do this, before I do this, I want to show you guys. I'm getting off topic again. Before I, I'm taking this off for a moment. All right. Before I uh, even pour my resin, I want to show you guys the uh, silicone that I got. Cause, guys, I use so much silicone. I use so much silicone, guys. So much silicone. Look at these. Look at how big these are. This is part A and part B. This just, like, if you guys uh, ever need <laughs> big silicone, I ordered a gallon of silicone. Okay, I just wanted to, I just tripped over this, so I wanted to point it out. That's, uh, they're, they're a little unwieldy. Um, yeah, now I have... I have molds over here. I'm making some new molds that I think will actually work out better for me because they're squares. Um, I need to make the lids for those. I was going to do that earlier today and then I had stuff in the pressure pot so I didn't. Uh, absolutely, Nate. That's totally what that silicone is for. You might want a different silicone for that. I don't know. There's different kinds of silicone. Also, this one turns, you know, greenish blue so it might be a little weird. Um, oh, I heard a king cat. Pretty sure that's not. Oh. Oh, that's good to know. I mean, I'd rather go the other direction first. Of all, but... all right. I'll lock these off someday. So I'm going to get 100 milliliters of resin, so 50 of each. 50 is part A, 50 is part B. I did luckily order more of more resin recently too. So I have quite a bit left in here, but once I'm it's getting low. So once I run out, I do have I do have I did get more containers. But yeah, it's going to get quiet a second while I uh, pour this and try to watch the numbers because I can't talk and do that at the same time. I have a one track, mi one track mind. So 
I've mentioned it before, but I have literally gotten distracted by the own my by the thought from my head while pouring a mug of tea before and gotten hot water all over the counter because I overfilled it. I was staring at the mug and got distracted by thinking about something else. I don't know guys. I don't know if I have ADHD or not though. Um cat outside the door still. Now. I don't have to I don't have to think while I stir. It really yeah, it really does I know I've mentioned it before, but I really it really was a, a kind of funny experience when I was pouring myself a, a mug of, of tea and uh, completely got distracted while looking at the mug of tea and overfilled it with and got water everywhere. Like, how did I do that? How did how did I get distracted while looking at it? I, I just have a one-track mind, guys. I can think about one thing at a time. That's why I have a planner. I have no working memory. It is weird looking back and... and it is weird looking back and wondering why I was not diagnosed with ADHD before the age of 26. But, <laughs> they literally did, I, I, oh boy. Uh, my parents had a neuropsychological exam done on me when I was in first grade, because I wasn't getting my work done in class. And I, like, I have the old report. I asked my mom for it at one point. And it literally has such gems in it as, uh, uh, it was something along the lines of, of uh, her speech, like, like my speech was, was fine to the point of uh, talking a lot and often about topics that were not relevant. <laughs> um, and let's see, there was some stuff about me being uh, impulsive. Basically they're just like, eh, it doesn't seem like it's bad enough for it to be uh, anything, just keep an eye on it. And then, you know, I went away to college and uh, could not get anything done. So, I mean, I have my bachelor's now, but, you know. Very different environment once I went off to, went off to university. How difficult is it to understand me with this mask on? <laughs> Everything but ADHD, I swear. It was just weird looking back, because it was like, 
yeah, she seems like she's just born. And I'm like, I look back and I read through it, and I'm like, these are all of the symptoms of ADHD. <laughs> Like all of them. Guys, I have all of the symptoms. There's a reason that I just don't, I, like, oh boy. And they often say that, like, uh, sometimes uh, hyperactivity will show up differently in, like, girls and boys. But, like, because, like, quite often girls will talk a lot. You can hear it just fine. It takes a minute to process words. Oh, same, yeah. It takes me a minute to process words in general. I was watching someone else's stream while they were wearing a mask. Um, actually, I've watched two different people. There's like three people in here that currently stream dice making. And one of them, it's very hard to understand, and the other one was pretty okay. So I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't know how mine is. But, uh, uh, no, it was, it was like, like, reading about it now, it's like, sometimes it will just manifest as like talking a lot or blurting out answers. And I'm like, yep. But also, I was that kid that if I saw a tree, I was going to climb it. Um, I remember uh, I would always wear shorts under, like, dresses in case I saw a cool tree that I wanted to climb. Was, that's quite literally, that was quite literally my reasoning for doing that. Um, yeah, I, I've never been great at sitting still. Uh, let's see, I, I've always doodled while listening to things or had to do something with my hands so that I can listen and pay attention. Um, and, and I mean, in later, like, I'll, I'll, I still, like, I'll doodle and stuff, but, like, later in, like, university and stuff, that turned into taking notes, which worked out just fine, as long as I was doing something with my hands. So, I, you know, I'd, I could take notes, and that would work. Oh, yeah, it's just, it's just kind of funny. It's just like, oh man, guys. How, how did, oh, how did you miss this one? I mean, it's possible that it's a thing that, like, it's possible it's a thing that, like, my parents didn't necessarily think about, because my dad also has ADHD, and I don't know if he realized it when I was younger. He realizes it now, but, like, um, I don't know if that's because he's a school teacher or what, but it's like, oh yeah, everyone has this issue. <laughs> it is kind of weird realizing some of the same, uh, not coping mechanisms necessarily, but organiz yeah, I guess organizational coping mechanisms and stuff that I'm realizing that I now do the same as my dad. Like, making lots of lists, lots of lists of to-do lists and goals and that sort of stuff because like if it's I it, if I don't have it written down it does not exist I can't think about more than one thing at once so if there's something that has multiple steps or I need to remember to do something I have to write it down or I will not remember it and how about this it's kind of cloudy but but say la vie Where is this doing? Oh, looks like it's getting mixed. It's still kind of cloudy though. I don't see any big streaks in it though. You know, I've heard people talk about like flash curing with resin, where they'll if if you do a large amount and it gets like warm, you're committing crimes against fashion. What are you doing? Are you pairing blue with black? Um, I am curious what, what, how you were committing crimes against fashion. Um, but uh, on the topic of resin, I've uh, heard people talk about flash curing, where they'll mix too much resin at once, and because resin heats up while it's curing, uh, it will just all cure at once because it overheats. Uh, are you stealing fashion? <laughs> Is that your is that your crime against fashion? I've never had that issue though, and I think maybe it's because I don't heat up my resin um, like some people will do to make it more liquidy. 
Because honestly, I feel like a lot of things that I do, it works better with it thicker, but you're going to color it first? Okay, cool. I look forward to seeing uh, pictures of these uh, Crimes Against Fashion once it's colored. Uh, no, I've, I've never had that issue, and also just like feeling my resin now is still cool. So I don't know, I don't know, I, get, I think it's probably people who warm up their resin or try or pop bubbles with a torch. I just don't do anything that would heat it up. I guess, except maybe holding it, but even then it's cool to the touch. I think this is all mixed. It doesn't seem to have any streaks through it. Seems to be homogenous. Hey Nate, did you figure out which uh, field of study you're more interested in? Machine learning or microcontrollers? I know you're looking at both of them. I think machine, machine learning is more interesting to me, but uh, I know that you like the like hands-on tech stuff. Alright, let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, not really. Eh, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, I'm gonna let's put this in the ones that need clear first. Oh, you're getting pretty annoyed at the microcontroller project right now, though. Uh, that's unfortunate. Is it? It's just not working how you uh, want it to. Oh, you were talking about. Uh, trying to wade through programming, still getting a whole bunch of error codes. I don't have the patience for programming. I feel like programming is something I can understand why why people like programming, but it's not a it's not like physical enough for me. Like, I like having some sort of, like, physical object in space that I'm interacting with, or creating. Building an I2C library for a fuel gauge, I see, and you're not really getting it. I don't understand what half of those words mean, so if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> So, uh, let's see. You just can't get it to work, or you're not understanding the pieces that you need it to that you need to happen. Interfacing the battery management chip. Huh. Yeah, I still don't know what half of that is, but like, uh, <laughs> man, I am not a tech person at all. I, mean, I realize that is an ironic statement for those of you who know that I worked IT for five years, but like, I'm just not a tech person. Calibrated. It means writing stuff to flash, but that's a complicated procedure. Uh, well, that's, uh, yeah, that's fair that it's complicated. It sounds complicated. Uh, it sounds complicated. Yeah, it's not something you've done before, so there's a steep learning curve. That's always difficult. It's always, it's all, man, I always feel so bad if I don't, if I'm not good at something immediately. I'll say it again, that's part of the reason that I continued with the voice acting classes. is because I'm not necessarily great at it, but I was enjoying it. Um... Man, I, yeah, I, it gets me so much if I'm not good at something immediately. That's part of the reason that I enjoy the arts is because I am, I feel like pretty okay at them. Not necessarily the best, but I, I uh, it's something that I, I can at least find something that I like in. Uh, mm, designed the board and it didn't work out, but 
is that part of it to work, so that's good. That looks like over here. Let's bubbles work themselves out. Okay, um, I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of clear to all of these moss ones, I think. Just a tiny little bit. Should I do, yeah, I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit of clear. And I'm gonna set this one here, put it out of the way. in the very bottom. Just enough so that I can see the green of the moss really well through the pink. Just kind of a blob of it in each one. See if I can drop in the B4. Two. There we go. All right. There's that. And then. Well, let, let me divvy up. Let me divvy up all of the resin otherwise. And that way I'll know. I know that I'll have enough for everything. So I'm going to do about ten of each of these, except for this one, which is going to have five. So let me just. Pull that till I get to about the 10 mark. Okay, I need to, I need to move so I can actually read this. Okay, that's got to about 10. Alright, about 10. about five. Okay. Grab all those. Put these off to the side. I need about ten of each of these, but I'll go a little bit above just so I have a little bit of extra. Might be about ten. I guess I might go over. Yeah, might be about ten. I'm going to go a little bit more on the pink and the yellow, and a little bit less on the orange. Because I think the pink and the yellow will kind of fade into the orange anyways. So I'm going to go just a little bit more on those two. And I'm going to do about 10. Still lining, the crimes against fashion continue. Uh, you know, I was, I think I was telling Nate about this and some other friends at one point, but I feel like I've met people who have such a weird sense of fashion, but also like such a unique and like confident sense of fashion that like I really respect it, even if it's not like my thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I like the square ones. I, my, I made a whole set of just the square ones. I think I'll be able to fit them on my, my lid a lot easier because they have a much smaller footprint 
than these round ones. Um, and the last of this, the last of this is just going to go in here. Uh, that, uh, yeah, that works out. I think it's just the last of this. Like, I, I really appreciate when someone has, like, a, a bold-fashioned sense. Like, I feel like I've become much more timid in my fashion sense since moving back here from, like, Seattle. Uh, also, just because I haven't been out and about as much. Um, I don't get a, I don't get a show off as much. And I, when I'm working down here, like, maybe if I uh, am not doing resin, I'll, I'll dress nice, but, like, for this stuff, I'm wearing t-shirts and sweaters that I don't wouldn't mind getting uh, resin on. So, I'm not exactly a fashion icon down here, but I, I really do love dressing up. Um, I like a good, like a good bow tie or looking like a weird professor or looking a bit like a vampire. I feel like those are my go-to's. Start with one drop and see how that looks. It's kind of a dusty, dusty pinkish color. I think when I put it in, it's going to look lighter. Ooh, that sparkle's nice. Let's see if I can show you guys the sparkle. I just added a little tiny bit of glitter in there. Let's see if I can. You guys see that it's... Oh no. Come on. Come on. And I don't know if you guys can see the sparkle at all. I think there's a glare that you can see. Oh, you like the most femme fashion things like Lolita? Do not wish to wear some things, though. <laughs> Lolita! I like all sorts of different things. Like, I... I love a good, like, femme fatale dress, too. Like, I love, I love wearing a good, like, slinky dress. Like, that's just fun. But I also love, like, wearing a tux. Like, I just, I like all the fancy clothes. I think that's it. I just like being fancy. I like being fancy, guys. It's fun. There's not enough, like, opportunities in life to wear a ball gown. There needs to be more opportunities in life to wear a ball gown. And I have a, but I, and I also have a ridiculous, uh, collection of ties. Which I should wear more. I'm getting back into my, my ties and blazers season. Now that it's getting colder out. Ooh, that's nice. It's nice and, like, sparkly. Right, let's pour these. I'm actually going to go against this ball. Okay. Mm, is that going to be dark enough? Eh, I'm going to give it one more drop of pink. I'm going to give it one more drop of pink. It looks pink here, but I think part of that is because there was a little bit of pink in the bottom already. And because it's all uh, together. Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit more pink. There we go, that's better. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Let me just make sure there's no streaks. I might not actually have enough of this. I might have measured wrong. Oh well. Not the two parts, but but how much I divvy up. I might have I might have counted wrong. Now that I'm thinking about it. 
I might have just barely enough, we'll see. Mm. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about this. I put the wrong amount. Oh well. I think I'll have possibly just enough. Make sure I do all these a little bit if I can. I'm going to Okay, I'm gonna improvise a little bit because I I I probably wrong guys. So I'm gonna add it. Every little piece of clear here that I can and have it as well. Because it's a light enough color, I don't think it'll be noticeable. And that has lots of bubbles, which is kind of expected. Out of the way. I don't want any. This is there's some little tiny like purple flakes of resin on here from doing the uh, dirty pour from the pour. Oh, my nose itches. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys, my nose itches. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Things that have been uh, not really an issue, but kind of a thing since uh, we're wearing masks outdoors all the time, is that uh, I'll end up with like one piece of cat hair in my ma my mask, just tickling my nose. It's like, why? <laughs> no. Especially right after I wash it, and it gets all it gets kind of staticky. I don't know, my fingers, my, my fingers, I have no fingers, guys. Alright, these aren't too bad, so I don't take too bad grabbing them. Alright, and then still a little bit more of this clear here for this. I'm going to put these off to the side. I'm just going to add a little bit to the lid so that I don't end up with the air trapped. And I'm not going to do... Oops. I'm not going to do that thing that I tested before. It didn't seem to work out for me. So I'm just going to do my same old thing of... Uh, of uh, uh, stacking them. That seems to help with weighing them down enough to keep the lids from having any sort of, of 
uh, keeping the illusion from coming off of the um, face of the die, if that makes sense. Not really, but keeping them in, pl we're in the place that I want them. Okay, I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to set these here for now. I want to let these sit before I put the lids on so that uh, the air bubbles can work their way out. Because I know there's air bubbles from uh, uh, the moss that's in there. There's there's air trapped in it. So I want to set this, let this sit for a moment and get as much of that out as I can. And I will do that. Let's move some of our other colors. So these ones are going to be pink and orange and yellow. So I'm just going to add, add a drop of, of each at first and see how they look. No, this one I think needs, these probably both need shaking. Let's shake those while I do my yellow. Just one drop of yellow. I think this is going to be a fairly, fairly bright yellow. Just maracas, so yeah, the pigment tends to settle to the bottom of these. I think that's a little bit better. if I mix too much air in at this point. It's a small enough amount that uh, it has enough time to work its way to the top. Oh, I forgot that I had glitter to this, but yeah, that was that was correct. I was supposed to add that glitter to this. It's like, why is it sparkly? But no, that was that was something that I planned for. I'm paying attention. I think this will be nice. We're gonna do layers of the pink and the orange and the yellow. I think that'll look, that'll be fun. I haven't done a ton of layered sort of looks. This will be kind of messy layers, but I think that'll be, that'll be good. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to want another yellow, drop of yellow in there. It's not very, not very pigmented yet. Yeah, one more drop. I feel like the yellow is hard to make too dark. I think the ones I think we could make too dark, but. Yeah, that's, that's starting to look a little bit more like what I want. Maybe even more. Let's stir these up, see how they look. Ooh, that orange, that orange definitely turned the orange pretty quick. I think one drop of orange is going to be plenty. I think that's, that's plenty of dark orange. I don't know. Yeah, that's definitely, it's definitely, oh, it looks more yellow there, but it's definitely orange. So I think that will be good on the orange. Yeah, we definitely need another drop of the yellow. It's a lot less pigmented. The two drops of yellow, actually. It looks a lot less pigmented than the orange at the moment. Oh, that's starting to look better. That's starting to look better. Yeah, that's more of a, a good bright yellow. And let's see how the pink how the pink looks. Ooh, that looks very very bright pink. But we'll see as I mix it in. That'd probably be a little bit better. And probably one more drop. Yeah, one more drop of pink definitely. I want these all to have about the same amount of pigment in them. Them all to be about this have the same brightness to them. Hmm. I think that's pretty close. I could maybe do one more drop of the pink. Do one more drop of the pink. No, I think those are good. I think that's good. They look like they're about the same. 
So let's, let's, let's call that. Let's pull out some molds for these. pipe cuts to put it in because I want to have a little bit of control as I as I add it. Hmm, is that bright enough? Is that really bright enough? I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow guys. Can I see that? Yeah, I want the yellow to be more yellow. And one more drop of the yellow. I think these will be pretty, Jen. I think they look a, a good, a good color choices. The uh, the pink, the orange, and the yellow. I'm, uh, I'm excited to see how these turn out. But yeah, this definitely needs to be more yellow. Oh, one more. You like lemonade? I like a good fresh lemonade. A lot of the like powdered sort of lemonades uh, make my mouth just so dry. I do not like it. The flavor's good, but I do not like how dry they make my mouth. But fresh lemonade, now that's a different story. That's that's some good stuff right there. Alright, I think that's better. Eh, yeah, that's, that's better. The yellow is just so light. Such a light color. It's really almost hard to see. Uh, Oh, just a second here. I might scratch up my molds doing this, but... There we go. This was one of the molds that I had, the weird, uh... Where I was testing something out, and they... Ended up funky, and uh, so there's a little piece of, of resin still stuck in there. Alright, let's add a drop of yellow. I wonder if in the bottom of this one. Some chunks of resin in here too. You know, at least this is the fire one, so if there's a little extra piece in there, it's going to be orange. I'm going to go up about a third of the way, I think, with the yellow. I just have to kind of estimate that. Oh yeah, please feel free to send your, uh, your, your, your fashion crimes along. I'm interested to see the, uh, picture that you've been drawing. I need a little bit more of that. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit more than a third of the yellow. I think it's going to be the hardest to see almost. And I think I want a little bit more yellow and a little bit more pink because they'll turn kind of orange as an ombre almost. I don't want any more yellow in there. more on my D8. I want to see the picture of the crimes. <laughs> oh my gosh, the, the like thigh high. Oh wait, is this the 80s? What is going on? That's great though. That, it makes sense for a wrestler. It really does make sense for a wrestler though. I gotta give you that. Alright, let's add some orange. 
I'm going to try and gently lay this on top. Kind of start around the edges and then move to the center. <laughs> She's a pro wrestler and you must look at her. <laughs> I feel vaguely threatened, but also okay with it. the D12. D12, 12 and D20 always take so much more resin than the rest of them. So I think I'm going to try and set it up so that I have like a new drop of dice uh, once a month, month, and I'm thinking maybe like the first Friday of the month would be kind of my goal. Um, and I can definitely get a lot of different sets done in a month. Uh, and then depending on how, if something becomes super, if, <laughs> if something super, uh, if a certain style is like super popular or something, I maybe I'll bring it back as a regular. Um, like my galaxy dice. I don't plan on taking those out of my shop. Those will probably stay in my shop. Um, I'll probably keep relisting them in groups of like five. Because um, they have been... People have been excited about those. So, continue to have them. But I'm... I think my... I think I'm just gonna... I'm gonna... Try, try and uh, release some like one off or, or limited time sets uh, once a month. I think that's my plan. All right, I think that's good. Let's add the pink. Mm, I probably could have gone darker on all of these colors. Oh well. It is very kind of lemonade-y with the lighter, the lighter colors, I think. I do, you're so good at character design. Like, both of you, wait. Both of you are good at character design. Wait. Yeah, that one was Jen. Ah, both of you can draw. How dare you? Uh, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Because, uh, uh. Teacup Beta has done the drawings in the has done character drawings in the past that I've seen. Have I seen any of yours before, uh, Jen? I don't know. But also, how dare? <laughs> oh wow! You also apparently make clothes out of like the '80s. <laughs> those those knee high like leg warmers, man. It just A reeve? Which one is a reeve? Which one is a reeve? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, both of you are so good at, at character design. You just make cool characters. Oh, the angel one! Ah, yes! I'm always excited to see what you guys have drawn. Or hear about lore, of course. Always gotta hear about lore. Alright. There's a bubble in the corner there. Get out. And stay out. Okay. I'm gonna put these ones on the bottom. So I'm gonna. Okay, these ones are gonna be on the bottom. I'm doing that because, or actually this one's going to be on the bottom and then these are going to be on the bottom. I'm doing that because I want the weight of those ones to press these down. So 
gonna put these, get rid of these down. Here. I'm gonna set this one here so I don't forget it. I like that. That's a fun design too. I love your color choices with the the bright or the like splash of bright orange there with the darker colors. Looks really cool. Alrighty. Let me put a little bit of pink on all of these. You take color psychology almost too seriously. I feel like that's valid. That's valid. I did uh, recently actually actually set up the about page on my Twitch. Finally did that like yesterday. <laughs> but it actually has some information on it. Uh, ooh, yeah. I'm always yes. I want to hear about your your moon lore. Is this for a campaign that you're working on? You do have design art too. I yep. Feel free to share that as well. I like I like seeing all the, the art and stuff you guys have been working on. <laughs> Moon lore in this chat? It's more likely than you think. yellow left over than I it probably should have been. I probably should have added more yellow on the bottom, but I will. That's okay. I think I'll end up just fine. Oh, it's only been running for a while now. Okay, cool. Yeah, I wanna hear I wanna hear about your your moon lore. It's always it's always the celestial bodies it seems like in this chat that we're talking about. Not, let me not spray myself in the face with rubbing alcohol. Come on. Break the surface tension. You can do it. Okay, good. Let me just wipe out a couple of these slightly bigger bubbles. I'm going to put these lids on so that I can start stacking things. Oh, da -da -da. So I was looking into it, and it looks like I can uh, add uh, emotes at different like levels of like. Oh wait, okay, that's it. Let me read this. So like in my setting, the Fae were around long before people or gods or even most modern adjacent life. The High Court governs the seasons and most celestial bodies, as those were the only really solid concepts that needed proper governing when they were born. Deep enough. Right from here, I think I do. Like that. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna start stacking some stuff here. 
it is. Right, and we're gonna put it all stuck there. Okay. I want the stack thing here from these smaller ones because they tend, they seem to be the ones that ride up the most, so. So the uh, okay, so the the, the fade that we're missing from the sounds like, including the celestial bodies and that sort of stuff, which is cool. There's still a big bubble on there. And then we can move on to the last, the last set. Oops, there's a hair there. More cat hair! This way. Okay. Alright, more reading. The essence of the Fae and their domain is governed by Cyril, matriarch of the High Court. Cyril? 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 Cyril. Matriarch of the High Court. She's the only one that doesn't really govern a celestial body or a season, because her main job is keeping the other chuckle fuck, her kids, in line. She's basically just, like, in charge of the magic and life in the Fae world. She sounds cool. Right. I'm just using this as an excuse to read things aloud as practice. Okay. Alright, so these, these blue ones. I've done these blue ones before. And I have kind of a, a process for them. Let me just get rid of this orange. So I don't end up with all of it in the uh, pipette. Now we're going to use the pipette again. All right. So for these, I'm going to move this forward and switch it this way. Oh, just a second. Here. Okay. Move it forward, switch it that way, and then we can all see. Mix all of these. And this is a very dark blue. Try and get all the little pieces to mix properly. This one doesn't like. This one gets. This one ends up with kind of chunks of the colorant in it. And again, normally that's kind of an issue, but I want that in this one because I like the kind of dark speckled effect that it gives. This one I might need more glitter, and we'll see if I can get any of the glitter off of the bottom of this and mixed up into it. Bad actually. Maybe a touch more glitter. Just a skosh. Just a skosh more, more get glitter. Just a skosh. It's less of this one, and this gives a lighter color. And I want these to be kind of darker dice, but it adds a little bit of contrast, which is nice. And this is a, a blue green shift. I don't know if I'll be able to get it so you can see the green. And not. You can kind of see it a little bit. It has a shift between like a blue and a green. Noel rules wind and spring. Anwen governs sun and summer. Theoden governs autumn and moon. And Tyla, Ty, Tyla, Tyla uh, governs winter and stars.
Oh, this is such a pretty blue. This has a big shimmer to it. Look at that shimmer. You can even see it in the camera. It's slightly darker in the camera. I feel like it's a slightly lighter in real life, but it's still like that, that pretty shimmery blue. Okay. So, the how I do these ones. Mm, a little bit more glitter. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a squish. I'm gonna add a squish. Just a squish. Not a dollop, but a squish. Squish more glitter. Oops, that was a little bit more than a squish. Oh well. It'll be fine. The only problem with this glitter is that it sinks, but that's why I saved these ones for last, is because I'm hoping it'll suspend it a little bit better. But I'm okay with it sinking a little bit. It's also why I'm using this mold is because it has the D20, it has the highest faces in the bottom. And I need, so I want to start with. like a drop of this color to each of them. Just drop. And we're going to continue doing that for all of these. Just do a drop at a time of the different blues. The sparkle here. dark blue. Oops, and if it gets a little messy, that's fine, because I want these to be uneven. That's kind of the kind of problem. Alright. The gods in my campaign are kind of split into two separate pantheons each rule over the chaotic and orderly aspects of any given thing, i.e. there's a chaotic god of nature whose modus operandi is just life finds a way, and an orderly one who rules things like how long seasons last outside the phase domain, and how grass and trees and fruit, fruit, wait, how grass and trees and fruits grow, and how grass smells when it's cut, and the crisp of an apple's skin, that kind of thing. The chaos side was born first. And they kind of take the place of demons in the setting, but they're still considered divinity. I'd read that differently if I was reading it again. Oops. I don't have to do an order. I'm just going to add drops of things. No particular order. This one. Right. Add some more glue. Oh no! We're good. We're good. Everything is fine. Please remain in your seats. Everything is fine. This blue, I really like this blue. It's a pretty blue. Oh, I feel like this is a quieter stream than they are sometimes. I'm just kind of tired. I feel like I've been kind of tired this week. I don't know why. I think that I have somewhat of a, a renewed vigor now that I have a little bit more of a concrete plan for I'm going to sell things. So I do need to kind of figure that out maybe a little bit better. I think that'll help me de-stress a little bit. Ah, okay. 
The chaos, I can't talk. The chaos side in the Fey got along pretty okay. When the Order half arrived, well, the same couldn't be said for them. They wanted one group to rule everything for consistency and order's sake, which did not mesh well with what either the chaos side or the Fey wanted. Uh, add a little bit more glitter. Just a little bit, and then I'm going to add some more of that light blue. Oops, most of that glitter has ended up on the mold. I'm just going to scrape some of that. Scrape some of that into these. That's fine. Okay. Add some more light blue. You're gonna hop, hop off. All right, have a good night, Nate. Thanks for stopping by. It's been a kind of quiet night, so. Whew. That would be nice. I'd have fun with that, but I don't know if uh, anyone else would have that. If I just read like a story on stream, if you like read a book. Just have a whole stream of me reading uh, uh, Jen and Teacup Beta's lore. Which, I mean, I guess that's basically what's happening. However, the Fae were very busy dealing with people who were figuring out things such as colonialism and Iron Hurt's Fae, much to the Fae's chagrin. I'm actually really liking that idea of just like finding. Are there copyright problems though? If I were to like read a storybook on stream, would, would there be pro like copyright problems with that? I'll have to look into that. I feel like I'd enjoy that though. Just spending a stream like reading a story. Kind of do some narr some live narration. So they handed the whole order problem to Chaos and went on their merry way. This did not well end for them. I I can imagine that that would not end well. Scrape that over into here. Scrape this over into here. There's one of this stuff that's just sitting on top. Let's get that into the spots. I feel like that's kind of a. I don't know if it's a unique idea or not. I bet there's people that already do that. I'm reading reading books uh, aloud on Twitch. I feel like that's something that would be. Although maybe that maybe not maybe not on Twitch so much, since I feel like a big part of, of streaming is is the interaction between the people in the chat and the uh, the 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 person streaming. And I feel like there wouldn't be as much of that if you're just reading a book. But Twitch bedtime stories. I can see it being a thing. No glitter! Just a little bit. Just a dollop of glitter for each. Alright. Because the order side and the chaos side fought for a while, creating some nasty stuff, such as the campaign's big bad, and then decided not to fight anymore because the heads of each side decided to smooch instead. 
The inherent homoeroticism of fighting a whole bunch and realizing you both just want the best for your people, I guess. On a time. I don't know guys, maybe I will try and do, like, move towards voice acting, because it's fun. It is actually, like, work, if that makes sense. Like, it is something that's, like, you have to work to get better at and that sort of stuff, but it is fun. Um, and then they decided, hey, you know who has stuff and has not been super nice to people? The Fae, which was not good for the Fae. <laughs> glitter. Again, I'm just trying to kind of add things evenly. Oh, I should add a little bit more of this light color. And a, another a couple drops of this light blue to a couple of these. Alright, that's the last of that. Add a little bit more glitter to a couple of these. Don't go over here. I'll just add it on top here. And then mostly add these two. Just a second here. You can add this and then we'll read that. Fast forward a few millennia. The phase last hold is Feeler Wild. And up until this point, they've, they've had its borders open. Because, well, not all people were bad in their eyes. The phase loved a good trade, be it goods or gossip. dark blue to the top here. So I like the dark blue. That is too close to the This blue. All right, and then let me add a little bit of the glitter. All right, just like here. they figured they could hold off mankind with their magic. It had worked for the most part to that point. It had, it had worked for, oh, it had worked for the most part to, I can't read guys, I don't have my glasses on. It had worked for the most part to that point. Fueler Wilds, I should mention, is a pretty huge portion of the continent my campaign takes place on. That's cool. So the fate the Fae control uh, a fairly large portion of the continent that your your campaign takes place on. I always like Fae stuff. I, I feel like they're just... The Fae are fun because they have rules, but they're not human rules. And I feel like people who don't like the Fae often don't realize that. If that makes sense. 
I'm gonna just corner a whole bunch of other things into these walls. These are all gonna sink to the bottom right now, so that might be a little funky. Yeah, maybe I'll just add some. I'll do like a poofy dish on top of this. That might be interesting. Oh, or I might end up adding other colors on top of this. I'm just adding all of this extra just clear resin with blue glitter in it to uh, this will be four mold but it's a big enough glitter that I know it's all going to sink to the bottom so and because I need a little bit more I'm going to see if I can scrape up a couple of these other containers and put the rest of them in here too that'll help add some color That was until Folenthrod, the desert, oh, that was until Folenthrod, the desert country to the north, backed by a dragon god of the same name and several of mankind's deities, assisted by Sylvanhain, the country the Felor Wilds is mainly in, in breaching its border and attempting to get rid of Sir Hael and imprisoning the rest of the high, co high court. Doing so would doom them, after all. Wait. We could think if they could hold it off. Oh, that was until they assisted Sylvain. Oh, okay. I'm breaching its border. Oh, okay. I did not comprehend any of that while I was reading it. Um, doing, doing, wait. Trying to take over the, the Fae would, would doom the, them? Wait, would doom whom? Would doom the people that are trying to take it over or would doom the Fae? They didn't get Sarael, but they did manage to kill Taya, Tayala, the youngest sister of the High Court. Killing Sarael would kill the fate. Oh, I see. Okay. Do one more. With all this yellow left over. I think I'm going to try and add a bit of orange and pink to this instead of doing pure yellow. That would be nice. Okay. 
responsible for seasons and the sun and stuff without first having a god to rule said seasons would uh, also kill everyone like everyone everyone so they had to imprison the court so the gods could take their strength for their own they did not succeed in this now for the actually moon relevant part Theoden was very close with his little sister obviously everyone loved her he was one of the two oldest siblings he and An Anwin, which he and Anwin were twins he felt personally responsible for her death, so he decided to do something super illegal to the Fae. Necromancy. Super illegal to the Fae. Yeah. Alright, I'm just trying to get rid of all of these last little bits of resin. Just putting them into a D4 mold here. I'm going to do just the last little bits of orange and yellow in here. The last little bits of blue. It's going to be hodgepodge of, of colors. Uh, we're going to do the yellow actually first because orange and, and blue makes brown. Now that I'm thinking about it. I'm going to do blue and then yellow and then the last one orange. Just trying to use all this up. here and we all set to go yeah I probably like set things up a little bit beforehand so that stream or the streams are a little bit shorter a little bit more to the point but I was running a little bit behind today I'm still thinking on uh on, uh, like, ideas for, uh, uh, when I reach 50 followers, like, doing a longer stream, something like that, so I will, I will keep you guys updated, uh, if that gets, as, if and as that gets closer, um, and I think a longer stream could be fun, or just a, a stream where I do something different, something other than, uh, 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 sorry, I'm trying to think while I add resin. Um, something other than, than making dice. Maybe like painting or something like that. Although if I did a long stream, I would probably also do other things. Maybe I'll have to work on a uh, different project at some point. Alright, I'm going to spray these so that I can get all the bubbles off of them. using the alcohol, the rubbing alcohol because it breaks the surface tension and I don't have a chance of hurting my molds or anything by heating them up too much. Because that's the thing that you can do. You can accidentally like sing your molds. I don't want to do that. Alright. Just moves on. Good and dandy there. Make sure I want to make sure that sits down. So oops, let's go put this all in the right direction. Put that on top of here. Oops, I overfilled this one definitely. Oops, put a shovel on that. Oops. 
moment here. I'm gonna uh, stack some things differently, I think. Move this, these over. Put this down here. Stack these on top of it. Just trying to add a little bit of, of weight to some of these. It helps the, the lids uh, settle correctly, especially if I add a little bit too much uh, resin. Hopefully prevent the, the big lips ha from happening. The big lip of, of resin between the, the top face and the rest of the guy. Alright, give me a second here. So I'm going to throw these in my pressure pot. Um, let's see, and I think that was everything that I was going to work on today. So, um, if you guys have any ideas for uh, something else I should make, or what I should do as a uh, celebration when I reach 50 followers, maybe a longer stream, maybe a giveaway, I'm thinking maybe a giveaway would be nice. Uh, feel free to, to message me, you can do that on Twitch or any of the social media that's in my about section. Um, but thanks for stopping by. Thanks. Do you, do you have more lore, uh, beta? Because I will keep this up for a moment while I, uh, 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 pressurize this. If you have more lore you would like to send in the chat. Oh, okay. Wait, we have more lore. Theoden did, however, fuck up the whole keeping it secret part. Anwin discovered him and his crime. Kylo was killed once more. Theoden was banished. The moon was exiled from the Feywild. Now there's no moon there. Okay, you're all good? <laughs> there will always be more streams where we can have more, uh, more lore, too. I'll have, to, I'll have to come up with my own story or something to tell in the stream. But yeah, thanks for, thanks for stopping by, guys. Um, I think I'm probably going to head out for the night. There's one part that didn't send. Oh. I was wondering, because I was like, that seems like a bit of a leap there. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. I don't know. But. but anyways, yeah. I think I'm, I'm going to call it a night, guys. So, thanks for stopping by. I hope to see you guys on Saturday as well. if you Or next Wednesday. And I will talk to you all later. So, have a good night. Oh, it's, we'll see if that'll go through. We can wait. We can wait a moment. Might be too long. Oh, that's quite possible. <laughs> okay. Well, we can bring it up and we'll, we'll read it next time. Alright. <laughs> Bye.